um, y'all know how like kids be singing all these like rap songs and like um all these different like celebrities or whatever, then they be just like, oh, a wet ass pussy, all that stuff, right? So, and I thought about this because when I was, I seen this the video of Cardi, right? And, she, and she, I think the 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 wet ass pussy song was on, right? And then she was like, she was singing it, and then her daughter came past the camera, she, like she started coming, and, like she about to go dance, right? And then she was like, no, 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 and turned off the music, right? Mm-hmm. Like these these celebrities don't even let their kids listen to their to their music, right? But then right. we have these regular uh people and they got their kids singing all these kinds of crazy songs. And then like I know I know the the this this little boy. All right, right? wait a minute, stop. Hold up. Do you think it is appropriate for adults to make music for other adults? I'm i I mean I don't know. I'm not I'm not knocking their music. No, I'm asking I'm not, you, do you think it's appropriate for adults to make music for other adults? And that, I, I get what Deep Point is. Deep, I mean, if I'm if I'm not mistaken, Deep Point is these rappers, these singers, whoever they are, they are making music for adults. So, no, I can make me, just like, for instance, I walk around and show a lot of skin. And I don't let Naya walk around and show a lot of skin because I'm an adult, right? And you're a child. So you're not going to do that stuff until you get of a certain age. So yeah, Carly is making music for adults. So she's not going to let her child listen to her music, right? Mm-hmm. Kanye West made a couple of songs that his daughter can sing while they're doing runway and stuff. You know why? He made it kid appropriate, right? Mm-hmm. So now this is made for adults and for kids. So I've, I've never been with knocking the... um the rapper, the singer about talking about selling drugs or doing this or whatever, because they're, they're, they're rapping to adults that, that know better. Right. Mm-hmm. It's like the, me as an adult, I know two chains. It, it got a college degree and they now here really gangbanging, but that's what he's singing about. Right. Mm-hmm. But a 17 year old boy, a 16 year old boy, they may not know that. So mm-hmm. no, you can't uh, knock the chains don't think about the thing right. for adults. Right. So, so like I, it, I agree with you, and I think my my thing is like with with parents. I'm not gonna, some parents with this particular person, this particular kid. I'm talking about right. So this this child sing all of these rap songs and all this. I'm getting money. I'm gonna shoot you in the face and this da, 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 right. And we was we were just talking one day and. Come to find out, like he don't he don't know how to spell, like he don't know how to spell his name, first name, last name. He don't know how to tie his shoe, right? So I'm like, okay, how, mom, in this situation, or dad, or caretaker, how is it that this this boy is ten? I think. How is it that he's ten and he don't know how to spell no names or tie his shoe, but he can sing and rap all of these crazy songs. You want now, you want I the would answer? Say, you can't put that on the parent fully, right? You can't put that on you the can. parent fully. Yes, you say you can. can? If huh? he's 10 years old and he can't tie shoes, if he's 10, they're not gonna teach you how to tie your shoes in school. If he's 10, yeah. Mm-hmm. If he's if he's two or three, maybe four, even mm-hmm. like some kids develop at different ages. But if he's 10 and he, he doesn't have a special need. Or a, a, a learning disability, or something like that. It's absolutely the parents' fault if he can't tie shoes or don't know, doesn't know how to spell his name, his own name. Mm-hmm. It's absolutely the parents' fault. They did not, they did not put enough, invest enough time into raising that child. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? They let the the music raise him. They let Instagram raise him. This mm-hmm. it seems like a child that's going to be raised by the internet. And that's, that's exactly how it is. That's and I absolutely part. agree. When I was saying about as far as him knowing songs, I was saying because that's kind oh, of... Oh, yeah, it. that's not their fault, maybe. Right, and that's okay, what I, I was saying. It. Like, that. that's right, everywhere. Right. You hear it all the time, the next thing you know, you know all of the lyrics, right? So that's different. But, of course, his parents have to take responsibility as far as teaching him, you know, how to tie shoes, how to spell, how to, you know, do everything else. That is absolutely... 
their, you know, their responsibility. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I was also it. that it's super easy for him to learn how to sing songs and things like that. And as a child, you're not thinking like, oh, well, maybe I should listen to the alphabet song so I can learn the alphabets the same way I, I learned this song, right? You know, you're not mm-hmm. thinking about that. So that's when it becomes the parent's responsibility. I mean, I, I know parents right now to this day that they think their only responsibility